and welcome to Broke Ass Goth, where we teach you how to maintain dark aesthetics on a budget. So today we're going to be doing a video on how to create some DIY coffin wall hangers. And I've got the base products you're going to need to complete this with. I know kind of from the outset it looks like an awful lot, and it is, unless you're an insane crafter like I am. Uh, otherwise, you probably already have these things in your house. The main thing you're going to need to get a hold of is going to be this box of three differently sized coffins. I actually didn't intend to get these. There was a doll I was making for uh, another YouTuber who I'm really fond of. And unfortunately, I never found her P.O. box where I could send it. But I bought these with the intention of putting the doll in them and decorating them up and making them look really pretty so she'd get a really nice gift. But unfortunately, they ended up being way too small for the doll. So I still have them hanging around and I've been looking for a project to use them on. We also have um, a black primer. It's Satin Canyon Black. I find this is really, really good for when you're trying to do a general overall coat on something. It's nice, it's saturated. You'll, you're pretty much going to get that nice thorough black look in one coat. We have a matte finish, which this is going to be used last after all the other paint goes on to make sure that it doesn't chip or crack and make sure we have a really nice seal on there. We also have a hot glue gun, which is absolutely necessary for any kind of crafting. We have glue sticks. You're probably going to need more than two. I have a Sharpie for doing any kind of outlining that I might need. I have E600, which I've seen a lot of different people use this for crafting and they swear by it. They swear it's an absolutely amazing tool. I have paint brushes in varying different sizes. I have a set of scissors, which these are actually really nice fabric scissors. So I'm probably only going to use them on fabric, which I do have and I'll show in a minute. I have masking tape because I have a couple of ideas for how to do stripes and lines on this. And I also have white acrylic paint. And this is, like I said, this is just the basic. It's kind of dependent upon what you want to do for your coffins. So this is more of a general sense of how to get this done and how to create one. So, as you can see, we have three individual coffins. Each one comes with their own lid. And they come in small medium and large and I have a couple of plants for each one of them but first thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of the painting and I want each one to have a base coat of black before we get started. Nice rich satiny black. paper down to make sure that the table was going to be nicely protected. Obviously anytime you're working with paints or hot glue or anything like that, you want to be sure your surface is protected from any problems. Okay. And this one I have kind of an idea for. Our makeup box is way overstuffed. There is way more crap in there than there really needs to be. So I kind of have this idea of taking this coffin and creating a makeup box for all the little brushes to sit neatly in that can go beside the makeup box so that we can pick stuff out. 
So that's, that's one idea I'm going to go with here. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that one first. So the first thing we're going to do here is I really want to take this coffin box and I want to transform it into something that you can hold your makeup brushes in. We have a lot of makeup brushes in our kit and unfortunately it's getting to the point where they're just all jumbled in there and we have to reach in and search to find them. So I'd like something where it's a little bit easier to spread them out and figure out what we want to pull out. So what I'm wanting to do with this is I want to take the lid and I'm going to cut the lid down to right about here, I'm thinking, because we still want to be able to see what brushes we're grabbing while they're in there. So I'm going to cut it, I don't know, I think maybe right about there, right about there, and leave the lid on it so that we can use that to hold all of our brushes on the wall. Now the second thing I want to talk about is obviously you could just leave this coffin black, but that's not good enough. That's nowhere near good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some tape and we're going to line it off and we're going to paint white stripes all throughout it. You know, have that nice white, black, white, black. That's very, very popular. We're also going to take some of this and we're going to line the inside of the coffin with this so that it has a nice pretty background and it looks really elegant. Fonzie's helping. Fonzie's helping. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started doing that. close up you can tell where it slipped through in a lot of places and I really want nice even sharp lines so I'm gonna have to go get black paint and go over this with black paint really really finely really really carefully getting it in there where I want it but at the same time this isn't a bad start so we're gonna let this dry we're gonna set it off to the side let it dry for a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and get the lid finished and then we can go back in with the black paint and work from there so you can see where we took this and we chopped it in half 
and you can see where the lines along the side are much sharper and cleaner. They looked a lot neater than they did before. I'm not particularly fond of how this turned out. You can see how ragged the edges are, and I can paint that and cover it to a certain extent, but I think we're going to have to bullshit it just a little bitty bit to get it to do what we want it to do. And now we're going to get to a fun part. I want to take this and I want to line the inside of the first coffin so it looks all nice and pretty. So we're going to take this, move all of our paint crap to the side. And you can see it has a very nice pattern. You know, it's a little bit homey, it's a little bit kitschy. But I think in combination with the rest of it, it's going to work really, really nicely. So we're going to take this, scoot a few things back a bit. And you want to be sure that you don't get any of the paint or anything on it. So we're just kind of adjusting where we have stuff and pulling things back and putting things in a different spot for a minute. You gotta be really, really careful because you wanna make sure you don't get anything on the table. You can already tell I've managed to fail spectacularly at that. So we take this, and where did my Sharpie go? I had a Sharpie, I know I did. There it is, hidden amidst the debris. inside is nice and dry. There might be a few little spots in there that need to finish. Um, you can see where I took the bottom half of the lid and I glued it on really secure so you can't just remove it. Looks all nice and even. Comes together really, really neatly. So what I've decided I'm going to do next is I couldn't find a sanding block to clean up this edge. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take this this lovely little trim right here, and we're gonna put it around the outside rim. And that's just gonna take a few minutes. Now I'm gonna start it 
right up here because I don't want the place where it begins and ends to show and we're going to put a black rose or maybe a spider or something right up in this area. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And thus far, we have just about the cutest little coffin you could ask for. Perfect little place to hold all your little makeup brushes, but for me personally, I've got to go overboard. I've got to put an extra on there. So, we're going to take a few items just to finish it off. I've got a black rose. This I got at Dollar Tree. Got a whole bunch of them for a buck. I've got a purple spider with plenty of glitter on it. And I've got these little twiggy things right here that I might have to cut down to get them to fit where I want them to fit. But we're going to work this out. Don't worry. one out of three nice little holders, nice little caddies for a cute little gothic bedroom. Now once again you could use this for a dozen different purposes. You could use it for makeup brushes, you could use it to keep eyeshadows in like if you have eyeshadow palettes. The choice is really up to you.